pick. Mm. Okay. Maybe people will, will dip in and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to FBS Chat Christmas Special. Um, and what this actually means is that we are going to be improvising. We're going to be asking each other a lot of questions. Uh, you guys are free to also ask us questions. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be exploring the highs and the lows of uh, 2021. And when we're talking about lows, we're going to be talking about how we managed to overcome them and how we celebrated all the fantastic things that have happened to us mm. this year. Joe, would you like to add anything onto that? No, I think that about sums it up. I think there's been lots of um, I think there's been lots of highs in in even even through difficult times. But we can come to that, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. So I want to introduce Kidge Burns, Gil Green, and Ella De Jong. Thank you very much for being able to join us this evening. Um, let's start with Kidge. Kidge, because I know Kidge likes to uh, to start it off. <laughs> Kidge. <clears throat> Name us some, what, just one sparkling moment of this year, the, the most sparkling moment that you really want to share with all of us. Well, it, I mean, it, it is actually solution focused because at the beginning of this year, I was talking to frontline staff and I think talking to any frontline staff and how they've been coping with all of this is give sparkling moments because it's kind of it's all about resilience and creativity and you know, just people kind of getting. So that that for me is 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 always you know, I mean, it's tough to mm. hear the, the, the stories, but at the same time, I think um, the sparkling bit is that people do, we do get through and we're kind of, well, you know, they're, 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 they're great. So, yeah, I was, it was a privilege to be part of that. Oh, mm. oh, so what, what was your role in that? Oh, just, um, it was just lots of people who signed in just to, uh, to give support and chat and they could you know talk as much or as little as they wanted and you know was uh hopefully getting them through tough times um so there was yeah a whole, whole group of us I, I mean it's still going on i kind of came out of that and, and i might go back in again if it's going to go on but uh you know it was uh yeah it was it was great to be part of it oh i love it and keeping to ladies first, Ella. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sparkling moment of this year. Um, well, uh, uh, I love, uh, yeah, I love the fact very much that uh, there was this lady um, who attended the uh, Tackle Your Challenge um, uh, workshop session, and she she didn't she doesn't know anything about solution focused. And um, as he started complete op open-minded, so well, come on, uh, let's do this. And she ended up with 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 such a huge amount of insights. And it's she said it's it's it was life-changing for her. And she stopped seeing her <clears throat> therapist. So <laughs> <laughs> not, not that nice for her therapist, but uh, <laughs> mm. yeah, and yeah, this was very very nice. And she's very. It's a huge, uh, enthusiastic person. Mm. So it's, it's, yeah, it's very nice to have still some connection with each other. Oh, I mm. like that. Mm. Gil. Gil's he. A sparkling moment. Mm. Can, does it have to be personal or can it involve politics? It's your sparkling <laughs> moment. It can be anything you want it to be. I, I'm going to stay away from politics. Uh, well, sparkly moment. I mean, you know, sparkly moment technically is, you know, what's unexpected, or so, or mm -hmm. sort of a surprise. Um, and um, so, as you asked that question, and and um, uh, Ella and kids were answering, I thought, what, what uh, would that be for me? Something unexpected surprise. Somebody about uh, a week or two ago, about two weeks ago. Uh, I got an email from a former student who graduated 10 years ago with her master's in social work, took a class or two from me. And, uh, but it's not someone I'd stayed in touch with. 
So I get this email from her and she said, um, uh, identified, you know, a former student, blah, blah, blah. She said, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going through sort of a period of my career, uh, you know, sort of stuck and need to make some decisions. And uh, you're the one professor that really stuck with me or stayed with me. And uh, can I talk with you? We can have a conversation, you know, usually as a sounding board. So a few days later, we had a Zoom chat about that. And um, so she got what she wanted out of that Zoom chat, you know. Uh, but I was just uh, felt really, it, it was a sparkling moment. You know, the, the student I hadn't seen in 10 years, all of a sudden I get an email and she says, mm -hmm. you're one of the few that really left a positive impression on me. And uh, can I talk to you about career uh, matters? Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I felt very good about that. Yeah, that's great. It's um, it's it's um, it really resonates because often um, when I used to work with young people uh, in the school setting and would meet them years later, they would always say, you know, oh, I was so grateful mm -hmm. that you were there. And but I, at the time, it didn't feel that what I was doing was being useful. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, it, it's uh, it's amazing how years later when, when they look back and you think, maybe, maybe there was something there. But at the time, I thought, you're not listening to a word I say, are you? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's, what, yeah. what, you're, what you're saying, Joe, captures that pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. And yeah. What about you two? Yeah. Well, I was, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, Joe, what's your sparkling moment? Oh. I think um, <clears throat> I think um, the I think one of the highlights uh, was the single, the Christmas single, because it was just something that um, it's an original song, and mm -hmm. it um, it was just such a lovely collaboration, and having the children there who who were brilliant. Um, when I see that bit of the video where they really start going at it. It's like, oh, that was that was um, really joyful to watch. Um, and yesterday, another one, I, I guess, connected to music. The young lady that was playing the cello, I'd never yeah. met before. Yeah. yeah. And she just played this thing straight from her head. It wasn't written down. There wasn't any notes to it. Um, in front of three strangers and our little dog, <laughs> Sapphire. Um, and she just... She changed into something that was so joyful for her and for us to to, to share that moment with her yeah. um, was such a wonderful thing to watch. Um, and I just looked at her in amazement. I thought, "Wow, you've got all this talent! So let let's um, let's celebrate that." That was that was really really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and meeting so many different people through through these chats that. Um, you, you you know when they say don't meet your heroes because you might be disappointed. I don't think I've ever been <laughs> disappointed in anyone. Yeah. It's been it's been amazing. That that part of it has been amazing. Um, so yeah, the, the, there's been challenges, but I think um, we've found ways around it. Found ways to still communicate, even though it was uh, pretty tough for most mm. people. Mm. So yeah, yesterday was quite a special day, and you get those days, don't you, guys? You know what I mean? When you mm. just a day where you think this is why I do it, mm. <laughs> and then you get two days where you think, why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> and every now and again, you get one of those days, and that's that's mm. the treasures that we um, we hold on to. Mm. Yeah, and what what that young lady was saying to to Matt yesterday was that she she hopes that they can work together to write a series of music um which can then be seen as something like a story so each chapter of a story but it's, it's a musical form mm. um to express emotion and, and everything else she finds it quite difficult to express herself um so it comes out outwardly as behavioral challenges mm -hmm. um but when she's playing that music and she's expressing herself through music mm -hmm. it's just a whole different person mm -hmm. um 
And that is just beautiful to see that, you know, children are not born to be abusive. Children are not born to to hate themselves or to feel a certain <clears throat> way. You know, we all have ups and downs, which is pretty normal. Um, but the only way that she can be true to herself and express the way she's feeling is through improvisation with music. Mm. And depending on how she's feeling is how she plays. And isn't that the lovely thing of the, the solution focus phrase I love when it, it's who you invite into the room. <clears throat> Some, <clears throat> you are inviting <clears throat> that girl into the room <clears throat> who has talent and creativity and, and that's what happens. It's just so brilliant. <clears throat> Yeah, absolutely. And it's and it's list it's just giving them that space, isn't it? And just allowing them to express themselves um without having to use words. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Or drawings, or it's just whatever fits with the client. Yeah. You know, which is where I think it's really important that any practitioner, any therapist, any coach, if we are truly client centered, truly, truly client centered, then there should be no box to remove. It should just be the client and whatever that client will respond to. And that's the beauty of it. I think my spark <clears> at the <throat> moment. Um, I was going. I was. I was going to say what Joe says. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to think of another one. But I remember, like yesterday, it was just close to summer, and I think I, I just come off a meeting regarding uh, SF24, mm -hmm. and. Uh, this is going to sound really silly, guys, but it actually made me just really appreciate what we have. And I looked around and, and Matt was having a go at Jason. Joe was telling Matt off for having a go at Jason. Jason was then saying, mum, 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 they're having a go at me, <laughs> as in me. And I just said, don't get me involved. And then as I stood up to kind of walk to the kitchen and kind of turn, you know, as you do with your, with your own family, you turn, I turned around and I thought, God, look at this. Oh. Is it isn't this absolutely lovely? And and all I could hear is just abuse from <laughs> each other. You know? I, I won't repeat what was said, and I do remember what was said, but they were just <laughs> um, oh, and I just yes. thought, yeah, I just thought, oh, aren't we lucky? <laughs> And, mm. and it is capturing those moments that I think, and there are mm. lots and lots of those moments, mm. I'm, I'm sure we've all had but it's kind of capturing those moments where I think, yeah, this is what the team's all about. Yeah. Mm. It's mm -hmm. that connection, not the abuse, guys. It's the connection between <clears throat> everybody and being able to just be yourself and being able to express yourself. And, and it's not all just about work, work, work. Mm. Yeah. But wasn't SF21 amazing, though, in fact? If you think about mm. how now we're used to connecting around the world, it's mm. just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Mm. Ella, how was your... Um, uh, what's your feedback from SF21? I, 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 uh, I think I didn't see a lot because uh, uh, the 6th of August was again involved, I think. It's my birthday. <laughs> Ah. So I'm happy next year it's uh it's after that. Uh and I just uh, this afternoon uh uh um went to see uh John Booker to to edit uh videos. Um yeah. I did that too. That was amazing. Hmm. I I, I have taken it home, so I will do it Sunday. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it was a bit too too hectic this day. Uh so when when I saw all the titles, I I couldn't remember seeing one of them. So I think I've missed a lot. I I was uh, there for preparing some uh, some things with you and uh, Elaine, yeah. and it's it's now it's now blank. I'm, uh... I mean I I'm I'm just gonna say, guys, I'm quite proud of myself and mm. and all those. I'm going to edit first. <laughs> Yeah, well, we stayed up for 24 hours and I remember being in a workshop, I think it was on the 22nd hour, and I thought, I'm just going to close my eyes for two seconds and I must oh, have no. missed about a minute. <laughs> and I found it on a video today when in the John Brooker thing and I, I thought, oh my God, you can actually see. Luckily, I didn't do this. <laughs> um, but, but I was just kind of... <laughs> And then you can't <clears throat> see me just kind of chat. So 
I stayed awake, well, all but bar one minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they kept um, it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Can you cut that bit out? I edited it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, <laughs> Kitch. I think it was in the 32nd minute, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I did actually cut that out. Um, but it was it was such a brilliant event. And, you know, it will continue to be such a brilliant yeah. event. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's unheard of to do anything like that. And, you know, for so many people around the world to join, so many people giving up their time to deliver workshops, to even just support each other is... It's out of this world. I mean, what what is it that we appreciate the most about the SF community? Mm. Oh, there's a question. <laughs> For me, it's the generosity of, of sharing. Very generous, very friendly. Mm. No, but the people aren't stuck up. <clears throat> They're just nice people. Yeah. I think it's necessarily <clears throat> always the case. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, on that note, just before we go to um, Gil, Joe and, and, and Ella, a couple of Saturdays ago, we went to, um, and I hope Rob doesn't mind me telling everyone this, we went to Guy Shannon's birthday party, who's now 60, people. He's 60. Hey. He's 60. Mm -hmm. And Guy, if you didn't hear Ella and Kidge and Gil and Joe say it, they muttered under their breath, he only looks 40. <laughs> I just didn't hear him. <laughs> Um, and, and lovely Rob Black was there, who we saw in person. I mean, we saw him in person a few years ago at Bath. Uh, and at dancing in s &M. <laughs> But, you know, he didn't know us. We didn't really know him. We just had a great time. We learned quite a lot. So this year, it was the first time we actually saw, you know, he has legs. We have legs. And that was brilliant <laughs> to see. But it was surreal. Mm. The, as soon as Rob walked in, it was like seeing a celebrity. <laughs> it was like, oh my god, it's Rob! I'm, I'm going to Joe. It's Rob Black. It's Rob Black. It's Rob Black. Look, it's Rob Black. Anyone would think I'm saying it's Keanu Reeves. Keanu, Rob Black. Rob Black. And then Rob looked at us and went, oh my god, it's you! And it was. <laughs> we didn't know who was more starstruck. I'm telling you, it, it was so funny because most mm. of the evening, I'd say eighty percent of the evening, was like, I can't believe you're here. Yeah. I can't believe you're here. <clears throat> it was absolutely surreal, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah. And um I think like Kid you were saying, it's the warmth, um, the um the openness, the willing to <clears throat> just share expertise without sort of like any pretension. It's been those <clears throat> those conversations that we've had. And um because Aisha was kind of because I mean, Rob came in, hugged. We hugged for quite, quite a long time. You know, <laughs> sometimes when you think, and and it was just so nice to have that that not just um, physical presence because you've only seen someone on the screen, but just to have mm. that hug, you know, <clears throat> and how nice that was. And um, thinking back on all the conversations we've had and. Rob kept saying, oh, you know, all these conversations. And me and I always felt, well, it's just we just ask people and they say yes. It's just it's, it's such a wonderful thing. Um, but thinking back on it, yeah, I, I think that's been, uh, again, another highlight, another joy, pleasure um, to speak to so many different people. But, me, yeah, the, the, uh, it was a very good do. Um, there was a live band. It was, it was actually nice to go out and... Mm. and see people face to face which i think um before i guess we would have taken for granted but now it, it mm. seems kind of special almost and what was beautiful about the live band they actually recognized joe and i um as celebrities oh shut up um, <laughs> and and invited me to play on the drums no, and joe did. on the keyboard <laughs> and i said no i can't do that i can't i can't i can't do this to guy <laughs> We, we don't then it becomes about up. us. It mm -hmm. becomes about us. And it's all about Guy this evening, you see. Um, so watch this space, people. We might be going live at that pub <laughs> one all day. Right. Um, yeah, so any appreciation? I mean, what are we what are we appreciating this year about SF? Mm. Or any FBS chats that stand out and you think, oh, that was a good one. Mm-hmm. So many good yeah. SBS chats, FBS chats. Mm. Hard to pick one. 
Um, now, I think the uh, having these chats um, uh, and having them available on YouTube as well, I mean, it's just uh, along with the um, SF21, I mean, this all started uh, because of the COVID pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. And so, so the, the, the chats in uh, SF21 uh, media, I mean, it's built and strengthened the uh, solution focused community worldwide in a way that probably never would have happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I really love the, the way the worldwide SF community has gotten connected now. Mm -hmm. A lot, it, I think it'll always be that way. It'll just get stronger. Yeah, it's it's really worldwide now. Yeah, because of this online, <clears throat> like like Marcos from from. Uh, Bolivia. Marco, Bolivia. Yeah, Bolivia. Bolivia. Mm. So, it's it's amazing. He now joins us uh, regularly. I think. And, uh, yeah, you really feel ev everyone presence always. And, uh, I think mm -hmm. I love that. Uh, Mm. So of our solution folks community, we all when we are here, we we really here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And it's it is and uh, it has caused me to discover using Zoom. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it existed until I all I do is like Skype, and uh, Zoom is so much better than Skype. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think. Well, I mean, Kitch, how are you feeling about Zoom now? Well, that thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was so I so was ashamed. I kind of was zooming in and out. Uh, for those of you that didn't have the <laughs> privilege of seeing this, me kind of doing this disappearing act. <clears throat> I'm thanks to that. Uh, I had the kind of internet in the house reworked because I said to my husband, I said, right, I can never do that again. It was so traumatic. And now <clears throat> it's okay because I think it's great until it isn't. Uh, yeah. It's when you, yeah. Especially in this kind of situation, and I, I felt I'd let you down. So I'm very happy to be kind of still in the picture after, you know, 25 minutes. But, I mean... Yeah, and I think I was just going to add that this thing of the, the Zoom, the visual thing, um, I was just thinking, about going back to the SF21, the, I loved, uh, I mean, they're all brilliant, but um, the, Adam's thing came to mind with research. You know how research is, I mean, which is so important <clears throat> for the community to get the research out there. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you might not read it and it might look a bit dull or whatever, but on Zoom and with sort of Adam and there were other people as well with the visuals, I mean, there was the one about the brain, which was just mm -hmm. out of this world, you know, and you think, oh, my God, this is so exciting. If I'd seen it in a paper, I mean, I think mm -hmm. I still would have thought it because I'm interested in that. But the visual thing is is such magic and such a privilege to to have it, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, Zoom, uh, thank you, is, <laughs> is I, I don't dislike it quite so much. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I remember at the beginning of the pandemic, we, we were having a conversation, weren't we, um, yeah. with solution-focused trainers at that time. It was like, no, 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 we're not going, no, 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 no. Um, but, but, but that's that's the thing. And we were actually really uncomfortable with it as well, Paige, because we're like, how, how would this yeah. work? Yeah, I'd never even heard of Zoom until the pandemic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Never would I have ever thought. Um, so, yeah, you weren't the only one. Mm. Definitely Thank wasn't you. the only, only Thank one. Thank you, Aisha. You're very gracious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just being very, very honest. Um, a well, question. Now, now I'm thinking of it. Uh, uh, the chat with Eve was, yeah. was yeah, so yeah. beautiful, so great. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love that one. Um, just it's, the idea. Um, yeah, just, just. Because you you see someone's name in print and and you know that they're there at the beginning and they're part of this think tank, um, mm -hmm. but then talking to someone like Eve in person, and it was um, yeah that that was great. I mean that was, one, that was one of my sparkling moments as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, 
the yeah. chat with Eve. Um, and I think one of the one of the things I took away from that is where Eve said she felt that change happened within the conversation and not the tasks given at the end of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And it almost turned the whole thing around about the, the conversations that we have are mm -hmm. are the intervention almost. And that that was I don't know if it was. Um, you know, a revolution back then, but it, yeah, it, it was a lot of it. They were still giving tasks at the end, weren't they? And um, but yeah, and and the way she, if you're if you're teaching someone this approach, what would you say? Clarify, clarify, clarify. Mm. Always make sure you've understood what the client mm. said. And it sounds such like a simple thing, but it's so important. So there's lots. I mean, lots of things that I've taken away from from these chats. Um, and it's been such a learning curve and um, hopefully continue those into the new year. What, what, did, what did you uh, um, have like a sparkling moment of, of feedback from parents? What mm -hmm. did, did you hear something beautiful from, from parents watching? Because you, you told us that, yeah, your clients are also with, with kids sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But, um Aisha got a private so a private Facebook message, didn't you, from that mum? Who we'd never met by the way. So she, it was just someone watching oh, watching okay. a chat. Um Aisha can kind of sum it up. Yeah, we've received quite a few. Um thank you. That was really interesting. Thank you. That made a difference to me. Thank you. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of thank yous and and they're kind of going to deep some detail about how what they found useful. Mm -hmm. um, but this one mum really, really did stand out, and who we we still don't know where she lives. What she you know, we, nothing. Um, but her daughter hadn't left her bedroom in quite a while. Uh, severely anxious, wouldn't wouldn't didn't want to access any sort of therapy. Wasn't speaking to anybody. She was just living in her bedroom, um, hardly eating. And then her mum started watching FBS chats on her iPad, mm -hmm. um, and then you know, just randomly kind of came across them wow. on, on Facebook. Um, and then she thought, wow, these are useful. So she's, you know, turned up the volume, took her headset out so her daughter could hear them, hear the conversations. Mm. Um, and then she slowly started coming out of her bedroom and sitting next to her mum to mm. watch the chats. And, I mean, I didn't know this at the time, but a few of the questions that they asked, this mum asked, was actually the daughter asking. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then a few weeks later, the mum messaged me. She made she made a donation to our charity. She sent us an email to say, thank you so much for saving my daughter. She's now gone back to college. Mm. She's been practicing everything that she's been listening to, taking in whatever she needed to take in. She's communicating more. She went, uh, she enrolled in a college. She started a week later. Um, and yeah, so she said, thank you for saving my daughter, which, you know, obviously we didn't. We all did collectively kind of support without even realising we were doing it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's one that really, really stands out. Mm. Um, so that is that is the power of conversations, mm -hmm. not just necessarily with FBS chats, even with clients. Even Just because mm -hmm. someone is not talking mm -hmm. doesn't mean they're not listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's a really, really good reminder for everybody. You know, having short and useful conversations sometimes is a lot more powerful than expecting change, mm. uh, behavioural changes within an hours long conversation. It's ha it's having uh, a different a different kind of co kinds of conversations than what yeah. people are used to. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I think John Hendon's conversation where he was talking about trauma um, and suicide and I think that that was one of one of the turning points for her mm. uh -huh. um, when he was having that conversation. It, apparently, it resonated with them. So yeah, I mean, it, it was absolutely brilliant. And I, you know, everybody who has kind of supported FBS chats and have been part of FBS chats should really be giving themselves a pat on the back because everybody mm. has contributed. Mm. And we just we don't know to what extent because there's so many people mm. that do mm. watch it. Maybe, maybe not live, but later on. And it's on all social media platforms, so people go back and mm. watch. And um, I mean, on average, there's between fourteen to sixteen hundred people watching in a week. Mm. Mm. Wow. So even even if we change one person's perspective, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. you know, oh yeah, 
<clears throat> well, and follow the old adage, small change can lead to larger change, a ripple Absolutely. effect. Mm. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I have an interesting question for you guys. But I just want to show something off, actually, before I do that. I just want to show, show off. Because when I saw this, I nearly died. I just thought, oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, this is amazing. Can you guys see the screen? So we've got cake. This is a, this is about the song that we released, yeah? Look, Eve Lip Chick, guys. <laughs> oh. Eve Lip Chick. Eve Lip Chick. Hold on. <laughs> Love. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Oh, <laughs> isn't she? I mean, that is a highlight, isn't it? <laughs> Eve so that, that, commenting. That's, that's sort of like a, a double sparkly moment. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, an interesting question that I'm going to ask you guys. Oh, you can think about it. All right. So, if you were immortal for one day. <laughs> What would you do that you may not dare to do it on the other days where you're not immortal? <laughs> well, if it's for one day, then you're not immortal. No, it's, 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 it's it really. Ooh, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, you know nothing you do, just for one day, <laughs> nothing you do will, will end with. You can do whatever you want. Tragic consequences. Mm. Whatever you want, you can do it. Yeah. Because being immortal is not, you know, being immortal for life. However, just think of it for one day. I'd skydive. I wouldn't be chicken to do skydiving. Even yeah, if but... I, even if my parachute didn't open, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> as long as it was in that 24-hour period, obviously, because then I'd be dead. <laughs> yeah, but are, are you scared of the parachute not opening or are you scared of heights? Both. One's no worse than the other. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the height thing. It's, it looks exhilarating. It really yeah. does. But, wow, yeah, it would be looking out of that plane and as you're edged <clears throat> off the edge. Um, but but you, you're not afraid to fly. I know. No, no, I'll fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll fly, Gil. But if someone opens yeah. the door and expects me to jump out, mate, that's, that's something completely mm -hmm. different, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> What else would I do? I don't know. What else would I do? do Ella, what would you do? I, I would go singing from my, my complete heart out <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> 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 with a lot of people and then after that day no one knows <laughs> I was actually going to say something very similar uh... so maybe you and I should attempt to do that it's a shame the SF World Conference has been cancelled because otherwise we could have stood on stage and started <laughs> singing a high yeah, but... no fear of anything that they throw at us will hurt us <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I, I am I am a bit of a drama queen, as Gil knows. So I would like, I wouldn't mind. I think, I think Joe knows better than I do. <laughs> yeah, Joe definitely knows. <laughs> what, what about you, kids, if you can do anything? Well, I I used to be able to play the piano, and then I haven't. So I funny mm. enough, music-related, actually. Mm. I would... I would be, it wouldn't have to be a stage. It could just be, I would sit down and play really beautifully. And I'd be just so happy that I had remembered uh, the kind of how to do it. So what's, what's stopping you from playing the piano now? All the hard work to get to that moment. So this mm -hmm. immortal day, leapfrogs. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the miracle tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. None of that bit in between. <clears throat> I'm just there. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Are good. we in the audience? You can be, yeah, but you can be up with singing as well if you like. Oh, we could. Do. <laughs> we could. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yes. I mean, yeah, cool. Yeah, I, that's something that I'd like to see. <laughs> Definitely, Ella and I in the background with our pom poms <laughs> and singing. Mm -hmm. that's, that's... What about you, Gil? What would you do? Well, one would be uh, I've never played a musical instrument and and always wanted to, never took the time and. Um, I'm, but I'm now that I'm semi-retired, uh, I have more time. I may start doing that. Mm -hmm. 
I I've always been amazed by uh, acting actors mm -hmm. and uh, just great acting, and I've always would would like to be able to memorize lines and own them, and so it mm. just comes naturally. Mm. So I said the arts, both are you know overlapping in the arts. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay, so after this fantastic day, Joe's jumped out of a plane. <laughs> Ella, Ella Kidge and I have been signed by Sony Music Production. <clears throat> after after performing live in, in uh, Wembley Stadium and Yay. full mm -hmm. of people. <laughs> I, you know what? I've just been reminded, and it just literally, it's just so happened it's by my thing. Something that Steve DeShasa said, okay, I'm sure you know it from, um, oh, it must be more than miracles. And he said uh, that <clears throat> when we're with clients, but I'm thinking about ourselves, we create masterpieces <clears throat> from the everyday melodies of their lives. So then oh, yeah. we're creating, <clears throat> we're thinking about creating more melodies in our own lives. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I mean, people want my, might want my melody to be silenced. <laughs> um, but we can still create it but yeah absolutely and and actually follow following on from that kid if you could have invite anybody deceased or alive just one person to dinner in the sf community who would that be mm. oh. Oh, by the bell, we've got somebody. No, we want to know the answer. Raya, can you hear us? I can hear you, but I'm not showing myself. Oh. What, delib <laughs> deliberately or, be or, or yeah. not deliberately? Yeah, because I'm not very well. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. It's feeling better. Oh, Raya, oh, no. wear one of your scarves and make yourself... All snuggly. <laughs> Can you hear us? Oh, I look awful. Oh, well. I can only just hear you. Mm. Oh, well, do you want to go out and come back in? It, it might have better sound for you. Okay. Maybe. Audio. Hold on, I'm going to kick you out and then come back in. Uh, Kidge, who are you inviting, dead or alive? Uh, <laughs> I, I would, I'd in Sue, I'd like to have a uh, kind of, I, I did meet her, but I to have a chat with her and, and yeah, listen to what she makes of it all now. It's, ah. it's, Steve probably wouldn't say anything, so I think that would be. <laughs> 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 and and what do you suppose Insu might say to the answer of that question to her, which might be what she thinks of it all now? Oh, I think she'd be delighted, absolutely delighted, because she wanted it to go out into kind of you know everywhere, and I think that's that's what's happening. I think it's she'd be so excited, and and all that passion she had, and would be. Just, just, a, she'd be saying "wow" every five minutes. Mm. <laughs> oh, I like that. What about you? <laughs> uh, well, probably I, I, um, it, it would be uh, people who contributed to the development of solution focused therapy. Mm. Uh, their, their writings and and thinking their underpinnings of that and that would be uh, Milt Erickson uh, and Gregory Bateson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what would you what would you ask them? What, what are you hoping the conversation would look like? Uh, I would just like to have an, an interesting conversation with them. It could be something about uh, what are your thoughts about the affairs of the world right now? Or uh, um, if you were to give advice to Aisha and Joe about what FBS should do, what would it be? Are you, some, mm. 
I just like to hear them hear them talk. I I did encounter Gregory Bateson at a conference once uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, 1976. He was the keynote speaker, and then uh, he stuck around to attend some of the sessions and. So I, I was in a set, one session with him. He also stood around in the in the lobby and just talked to people, whoever came mm -hmm. up to him. And mm -hmm. I I just kind of stood on the edge. I was kind of too shy to come up to him directly, but I just over overheard conversations he had with other people a little a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like it. And Ella. Well, of course, you guys. <laughs> Joe, we can hear your tapping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I saw many people, but I think I would love to, to uh, see <clears throat> Teresa Steiner again and talk to her <clears throat> what she, yeah, what she perhaps thinks for me would be nice to, to move on and do, uh, do kind of things this way or that way or, or whatever ideas she has, because she is, I, I don't know, I only, uh, I've only seen her in Amsterdam twice. And she's very, uh, I, yeah, you, you don't hear or see anything uh, uh, on social media or whatever about her, uh, of her, but I know she's, she was three, four years ago, uh, uh, very busy with a solution focus in, uh, uh, with children with tra trauma in Africa, I think. So she, she was very busy and perhaps still is. So I would like to uh, catch up. Oh, mm. I like that. Mm. Mr. Lipsbury. Yes. Oh, um, yeah, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Anyone in history. So mm -hmm. I think, Anyone, um, dead or alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good. Right, okay. If we're, if we're looking at solution focused, <clears throat> I would have liked to have been around the kitchen table when the family that Eve says changed the direction of their work, where they said, what would you change about this family? It would have been fascinating to hear that conversation after the family came back and said, Who would you have at your dinner wow. table? Your whoever dinner was party. there, Eve, Steve, Insu, whoever was there watching. One person. Uh... No, you... What do you mean one person? So it's just one person then? Yeah. Christ almighty. I don't know. Gil can say what he wants because it's skill. Oh, oh, Gil. Oh, oh yeah, okay. because it's skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One right. person. Julius Caesar. There you go. <laughs> why, why, why Julius Caesar? Why does it have to be Julius Caesar? It doesn't. Caesar? All right. Julius Caesar. What why Julius like? Caesar? What was it like to be emperor? What was it like? <laughs> Is anyone going to say anything to Joe? Am I always going to be the one that looks like the bad person? Or if I had two, I would have uh, De Niro and Pacino um, wow. doing that, com that conversation they had in Heat. Just sit there Ooh. and watch that. <clears throat> that would be very nice. Mm. Oh, Jet yeah. Why, yeah. why is that, Kidge? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was Joe, that... But, Joe, Joe, in yeah. that movie, mm. I... I think that there was never a time when they were in the scene together. No, don't say that, Gil. Don't <laughs> I, shatter my illusions. <laughs> I, I think they were saying their lines independent of each other. As, no. I'm, that's just my guess. But I watched, I've watched. i seen that movie a couple of times, and that just really struck me that during the whole movie, they were never in a scene together. Wow. There's always the camera on them. It, it's not even a conversation to go back and forth with the other, one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't see a pan shot of them both sitting at the table, do you? Look at you, right. you know, pan <clears throat> shot. So that, that would be, yeah, to see them both together and, and do that scene. If you, Joe, if you, all right, sorry. Me, sorry okay, Aisha, yeah. What about you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I actually really thought about this while you guys were having your conversation. And although I love a lot of people, including Eve, Kidge, Ella, you know, I admire and love you all, I would want to invite Gil. And I will tell you why I would want to invite Gil. Don't look like that, Gil. I actually would, because 
I love just listening to the stories that Gil comes out with. Mm -hmm. um, and you could have a conversation about toilet roll and somehow he will <laughs> use that conversation to educate you. That, that happens when you live long enough. Either that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, would like, mm -hmm. I would like for Gil to have a bottle of red wine or whatever you drink, Gil, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see the type of conversations right. we're having then. Mm. That would be funny. <laughs> well, you know, I, I I do plan on coming to visit as soon as it's I know. you know it's a healthy enough to travel like that. Well, if you if you come in February, then you can come to our do. Oh yeah, our kids mm. is coming. Yeah, uh -huh. our ten year and a ten year family based solutions party. Mm. Mm. Ella, oh, if you're wow. in London, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be great. Which, which is going to be a lovely yeah, are you, event. Are you going to live stream that? Um, I think Matt is going to live stream part of it. He doesn't uh, know this yet, so, <clears> yeah, <throat> I will tell him now. <laughs> made, made it that, I'm hoping to. <clears throat> um, but, guys, we were having, because we have random conversations in the office after hours whilst we're eating dinner, because we work very, very long hours, and, and we sit down like a family, and we have dinner together most nights. Mm -hmm. And the random conversation that we were having last week, which was bugging all of us, is the people that we fancy in the celebrity world, or if we could be any celebrity, who would we be? Mm -hmm. Joe said he would likes the look of Elvis, the young Elvis, and... That just didn't do anything for me <laughs> at all. The boys said they fancied Cheryl Cole. That did nothing for me at all. I said Sophia Loren is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sophia Loren, natural beauty, a lady, beautiful. Who would you guys, if you could take, the, not the personality or the looks, I mean, we're all gorgeous, by the way. But if we could, if we could take a celebrity's physical attributes mm. and, and make it our own for for a day, who would who would you choose? I told you this would be random conversation. <laughs> for me, it'd be Paul Newman <laughs> as, a, as a celebrity actor. Paul mm. Newman, wait, I cannot remember who that is. Paul <laughs> Newman. Oh, my oh God. yes. You're showing your age. <laughs> yeah, Paul Newman. Why Paul Newman? Well, he's very good looking. Mm -hmm. um, made a lot of interesting movies. Uh, stayed married to the same woman mm -hmm. throughout his life. Uh and um, he was a humanitarian. Yeah. And a bit of a racing driver as well, Gil, isn't he? Oh, that, that too, yeah. He, he, mm. he did that fairly, fairly seriously. Uh, still is a, more of a hobby. Mm. But, uh, you know, he's de developed, when before he died, I mean, he started Newman's own, you know, producing things like salad dressing and mm. coffee and, and all the proceeds of that go to charity. And his oh, his, wow. his daughter has continued that <clears throat> to lead that. Wow. I, I never it. knew that even, about him. No? Very, yeah, he's very uh very much a humanitarian um across the board. And and I liked his politics. And... Mm. This is why I would invite Gil. To the dinner party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Things like this, you see. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. Ella, mm. who would you choose? Uh, Julia Roberts, of course, of course. Of course. Oh, why <laughs> Julia Roberts? <clears throat> Years ago, someone said I look like her. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> Many years ago. Uh, well, I think she, she, she plays... She's a very good actress. Uh, I love Pretty Woman, and and but her her I think that was her first movie. Uh, the the real story about uh, 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 an, an advocate. Um, 
but a little bit a, di a difficult oh. name. Emma Brockovich. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Well, this mm -hmm. was one of her first uh, major roles. That's a, that was the one she won the Academy Award for. See, he's done it again. <laughs> Gil's, Gil's Googling it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, and her with Richard Gere. Well, okay. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> uh, and what about you, Kid? I was thinking probably Helen Mirren. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. I like, well, it's so oh, many. She's a feisty woman and she's independent. And I think she's. As I'm beginning to be of an age, she's aging very majestically and always mm -hmm. elegant and wonderful. She's, I think she's a great lady. This is Helen Mirren, Ella. Yeah, thank you. What, okay, and what role mm. is this today? Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, fabulous. Didn't she, well, she played the lead in The Queen, didn't she? She played the queen. Yeah, she did. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> a few years ago. <clears throat> um, guys, I'm always have to. Uh, always yes, have we're, to we're, we're going to be wrapping up now, Ella. Um, <clears throat> and so, what what we actually just <clears throat> to do was just to catch up with some <clears throat> SF friends and family, um, with no specific <clears throat> purpose, but to just have a a conversation, <clears throat> but just kind of do it live. Just to show it's not always just about work mm -hmm. and getting mm -hmm. to know each other on another level, which we have the privilege of doing with Gil um, sometimes, which is absolutely amazing. Um, through our, I call them date nights, Gil calls them movie nights. I think we're looking at the relationship a little bit differently mm -hmm. here. Um, <laughs> can be tough, can be tough. You know, but hint, hint, I'm inviting him to dinner, I'm getting him drunk. You know, <laughs> Gil, love you. Yeah. Uh, Hey, your your husband is a police officer. Thank <laughs> you. Um, but yeah, so so thank you, thank you very much for joining us. Um, it's mm. been absolutely incredible seeing you guys. And personally, from the Family Based Solutions team, we really want to thank you for your ongoing support mm. um, for the charity and us as individuals. Without you guys, we wouldn't be where we are today. We might mm. be a small charity, but we have an enormous community around us. And mm. you are definitely part of that. So thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well a... done, well done, you guys. Because you, yeah. honestly, this year mm. it's just been magical. The stuff you've done, really, mm. truly, you you deserve all the praise and accolades mm. that you that you will have got and will continue to get. I'm sure. Mm. Aww. Can, Aww. can I show? Can I show one book I, I just yeah. got as a present for Sinterklaas? It's not Santa Claus, yeah. it's Sinterklaas. Uh, do you know it? It's, I love it. Sorry. The, uh, the Rabbit, the rabbit listened. listened. No, I don't know that one. It's, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. There, there, there's something happening where the boy and all animals are helping him in all kinds of ways, like uh -huh. an ostrich oh, wow. uh, putting his head in the ground. Just don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Another <laughs> animal just roar. Yeah. But he doesn't want to do that, and the rabbit just listens. Oh wow! Oh, brilliant. So, uh, hugs from you all. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, I love you. Have yeah. a wonderful Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah. It's been, yeah. been fun being a part of this. So thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. Mm. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So you you, if you, apart from Ella, who needs to go, if, if Kidge and Gil can just stay behind for one minute. Um, and course. to the rest of you, we will see you in the new year. Uh, please do start thinking about your best hopes for the new year and the differences those best hopes will make once you do reach them, because you can. You're just going to think small steps lead to bigger outcomes. What do? What are your first small steps? Um, start thinking about that. Do keep an eye on FBS um, chats and social media for those sort of questions coming your way. And from us, good evening. Good evening.